Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this video, we are going to see some of the amazing stats with respect to artificial intelligence. And with this, you will be able to understand a whole lot of things. Uh, this whole information is basically referred from one of the site which is called as blog.zoominfo. But I am going to take all these things and I am going to discuss about that too. You know, what is my point of view with respect to that, that also I will be actually telling you. Remember, this is pretty much important for everyone who is making a transition towards AI, machine learning, deep learning or data science, right? So let's begin with this, okay? So here in this, in this particular video, I'm going to take some of the topics like state of AI in business. And remember guys, again, this blog is taken from Zoom Info. Um, uh, this, the URL of this particular blog will be the, given in the description of this particular video itself. So what we all we are going to consider, we are going to consider the main heading like state of AI in business. AI priorities and plans, the future of AI, the impact of AI on employment, benefits of AI adoption and obstacles to AI in adoption basically. So uh, and AI trends by sector. And then we are also going to discuss about virtual assistant which is pretty much common nowadays and it has done a whole lot of wonderful work for the companies. Now going to the state of AI in business. This is pretty much important. This basically says that uh, I'll just start with the first point. It says that only 23% of the businesses have incorporated AI into products and processes along with service, service offerings that they are providing today. Now, remember this whole uh, status, stats has been collected at the end of 2019, somewhere around October to November. And uh, probably uh, that is based on that particular information. And remember, as we go in 2020, still uh, the new survey has not come up. So it may have increased a bit. So it says that only 23% of the business have incorporated AI into process and products uh, and service offering that they are providing today. And this is definitely true. As I have told in one, many of my videos that yes, companies are trying to incorporate AI. And the main reason why they are doing is that to provide wonderful user experience with respect to the products that people are using. Just imagine the way that you use Netflix, the way that you use Amazon Prime, the way that you use Amazon.in shopping website, online shopping website, right? You get a kind of easiness, you know, when you're doing that, when you're accessing that. So that is the main reason why many companies are actually incorporating AI into the business. And probably in the upcoming two to three years, this percentage will be very, very huge. It will be going more than 50%. That is what is my prediction. Uh, this is uh, and remember from every point every main point that as I told that state of AI in business I'm going to consider two sub points where I'll be discussing about that. So 47% uh, of digitally mature organization say that they have a defined AI strategy. Okay, so uh, and if you consider huge companies bigger companies who already have some very good products, right? they definitely have this kind of AI strategy because they know what they need to include some additional things into their products. So definitely, I think this is also true. Uh, with respect to the second main point, we are coming AI priorities and plans. It says that first point, 83% of business say AI is a strategic priority for their business today. Why I'm telling you this is true guys, because I have spoken to many people many senior people, you know, technical managers, even CEOs of some of the companies. Uh, I was just recently talking to one of the CEO and uh, from a company in Hyderabad and he was saying that Krish, we are already developing this particular product, but we need to bring some AI thing inside it so that it will be helpful for doing this. It will be helpful for doing that. And I told that, yes, definitely it is possible, right? So this statement is absolutely right. And now many technical managers, many senior managers are looking to incorporate because they are given some kind of pressure from the higher management. Yes, you have to do all these things because every, every company is doing this, right? So this is true. Um, and uh, next statement, 27% of the executives says that organization plan to invest this year in cybersecurity safeguard that uses AI and machine learning. Guys, if you don't know about cybersecurity, this is one of the domain that is going to grow like anything. So if you're already working in this particular domain, I think you can do a whole lot of work if you know machine learning, deep learning, AI stuff. You know, when you know this kind of creating this kind of AI applications, you can do a whole lot of things. Now, uh, coming to the third main point, 
what is the future of AI? Now, this is a pretty interesting survey that has been done. Okay, it says that the AI market will grow to a $190 billion industry by 2025, according to research from markets and markets. Remember guys, all the source is basically given in this particular blog. You can go and have a look. And this, as I said that, all this particular information was collected in October, November 2019, okay? So this is pretty much important. Yes, $190 billion company, right? Industries by 2025, because now the products that they will be launching will definitely have AI into it. I can see that. I can see that particular changes. I, I think it will be more than 190 billion. That is what my prediction is. Uh, it will be a whole lot of money. Okay. And uh, global spending on, I'll not consider this. Instead, I'll consider this one. IDC predicts 40% of digital transformation initiatives will use AI services in 2019. Now, this is also important. Due to the recent pandemic event, everybody is working from home. Everybody has to create the business in much more digital way, right? So because of this, they are definitely going to use AI, you know, and this is also an amazing statement. So I've taken this particular blog because I have read so many. I really wanted to share this particular information to you all. Now, this is uh, a, a, a thing that everybody should be worried about. I guess everybody will be worried about the impact of AI on employment. Now, remember, guys, still in industries, there are many people who do labor work there are many people who do some kind of works so the impact of ai on employment that we are going to read now pwc predicts up to 38 percent of us jobs could be at high risk of automation by the early 2030s higher than germany in germany it is predicted to be somewhere around 35 the uk it should be, it is predicted to be 30 percent and in japan it is predicted to be 21 percent this is going to definitely happen guys because what I feel is that, but everybody should not worry about it. People should be worried about how they can upskill themselves. You know, that is what I think. There will be a whole lot of automation to reduce the cost of the company, to bring up more advanced things, advanced technology as we go ahead, right? This is definitely going to happen. But one thing that I'll say that everybody needs to upskill. You know, when you are upskilled, you will be able to create this kind of automation softwares also, okay? Now, with respect to the people who are doing this kind of labor work and all, they should get upskilled in using some of these particular things. Okay, that is what I feel. Uh, next, coming to the thing, the impact of AI technologies on business will boost labor productivity up to 40% according to Accenture. Okay, definitely it is going to boost labor productivity because what is AI? It does all its work without any human intervention. So definitely, whether a company is running 24 by 7, the process is going to go on, right? So definitely it is going to boost the labor productivity. Now, coming to the main section of benefits of AI adoption, 84% of the business say AI will enable them to obtain or sustain a competitive advantage. This is pretty much true. Let me give you a very perfect example. You have Netflix, you have Amazon Prime, you have Z5, you have Hotstar in India specifically I'm talking about where you see different kind of movies and series and all. Apart from that, the product they are trying to make, you know, with respect to the user experience, they are focusing on that too. Definitely Netflix and Amazon Prime has an upper hand because they are like they are the oldest companies with respect to this, what they are actually providing. But I see every day some other new functionalities are actually coming in. Okay. And because of this, they are definitely providing a competitive advantage, right? A competitive advantage between different, different companies, right? And yes, and it will also affect the price of the product that they are actually selling. Okay. The second point says that 80% of business and tech leaders says, AI boosts productivity and create jobs. Now, previously in the statement, they said that it is going to, um, you know, jobs are going to be at a high risk of automation. But over here, it also says that it is also going to increase the jobs. Now, for increasing the jobs also, guys, 
you need to become upskilled that is what i am actually saying so one more point i really want to specify on this 36 percentage of executives says that the primary goal for ai is to optimize internal business operations a very good example let me tell guys if i go around uh, 10 years back or 7 to 8 years back if any person wanted to contact the support team from a company with respect to the orders or anything they used to talk to a human person now with the help of chatbots this particular process is automated right this particular process is automated now what is happening internal there is a decrease in you know you, you can basically say some of the things are automated and because of this the expenditure of the company has definitely got reduced right so this is just one example chatbot has played an amazing role guys now every website that you see there is a chatbot you know integrated with this trust me there are many companies who just provide services on chatbots you know they create chatbots for you and give it you know okay this is a very interesting point and this why i'm saying because i'm talking about the benefits of ai adoption okay so 59 percentage of executives says big data at their company would be improved through the use of ai definitely just let's go 15 years back guys now initially the company was quite worried that how do you how do they store the data efficiently at that time the concept of big data hadoop came and that time it was pretty much famous everybody was learning big data and hadoop now various frameworks have got created even cloud services like aws and azure are providing them you know and companies are using it now the main thing is that okay companies are storing it efficiently but how they can actually use that kind of data right to bring a wonderful user experience that is what they are going into ai they're going into data science they're going to machine learning deep learning they're implementing some of the things inside that right so amazing thing this was also now the next thing is that what is the obstacles to ai adoption now this survey also has been taken out guys it says that the first point 77 percentage of ceo says ai and automation will increase vulnerability and disruption to the way that they do business okay so yes it will but i think up to a some level it will but other than that if you are ready to use it i think this should not be a problem as such they just say that uh the another point is saying that uh gartner predicts gartner survey that is predicts that through 2022 85 percentage of ai projects will deliver erroneous outcomes due to bias in data algorithms or the team responsible for managing them true guys this is absolutely true so when the project is being created you know data will definitely play a very important part and remember what is the problem with ai projects guys if you don't create a better project a company may lose huge amount of money if you create a better product with the help of quality data that particular model that particular project can do a whole lot of things also if you are able to do it but these are the problems these are the problems that you will see it may be because the domain expertise is not right it may be because you don't have good data and that is what it is basically saying over here right so it may be due to biased data it may be due to the team that you are working in it may be due to the domain expertise but like what kind of information he has actually said to you so this is our absolute right point what i feel uh, i'm also going to take some point at it says that uh, 37 percentage of executives says an obstacle to ai initiative is that managers don't understand cognitive technologies and how they work and because of this now many people are actually run uh, learning ai all the managers are also learning ai you know and this is true guys because many people are not that skilled right now they are openings they are openings for senior managers they are opening for managers who can derive the business but they are people who are not that skilled yet okay in one of my previous company uh, there was a hiring going for managers and the type of interaction the type of interviews that went at right that actually showed you know we had to shortlist for so many resumes and finally we were able to hire one guy so this is important okay now the most important thing ai trends by sector 72 percent of business in the technology media and telecommunication industry expect 
AI to have a significant impact on the product offering in the next five years. Absolutely true. So media, telecommunication, healthcare, I'd suggest healthcare. Uh, I'd also suggest financial market will definitely have a wonderful impact in the upcoming five years. Now, second point in the banking sector, Juniper, Juniper is a company name forecast the success rate of bot interaction to reach over 90% in 2022. So any kind of queries, any kind of things, we will directly be interacting with the bots that will actually reduce human efforts. So in short, it will be actually leading to a wonderful thing. Now, this was all the things that we had to discuss guys and probably uh, the link of this particular blog will be given in the description. But the main thing is that AI can be used and if it is used in a proper way, if it is used in a better way, it can do a whole lot of things. And in turn, the survey also says that you saw the fear of CEO, right? Managers don't know, you know, they're not that skilled. So that may also cause a problem to a product that may, because understand if you're creating a project, it may create wonderful, wonderful revenue for you. If the project is right, if the project goes wrong, it can do a whole lot of thing to the company itself. So that is the biggest fear from CEOs across the countries, across every industries also guys. But yes, one or the other day, as you see that time will be going ahead. Many people are learning new, new things with respect to artificial intelligence. And remember the previous experience also that you have for the seniors people, that is also pretty much important because that domain you have actually worked for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, that all are important guys. So yes, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed guys. And and the link of this particular blog will be given in the description of this particular video. And guys, I have started uploading the summary of all the, uh, you know, podcasts that I have actually created in my another channel. The link of that channel will be given in the description. So please do subscribe those channel also. So yes, guys, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe the channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all. Bye bye.